Toys, 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 Every Saturday at noon. Maybe we're going to change that time. Let's see how that this goes. But anyways, let's remove that. Let's get it down. Today we got East Coast dot 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 Frick. I mean, Left Coast Graphics. Is that like Babu Frick? No, I, I just uploaded a new video today. Dino was uh, was gracious enough to ask a couple of the uh, Star Wars celebrities at his toy show last weekend to, you know, give me a little shout out. Yeah, that's really, really I'll, cool. upload the first one of them today, and it's just it's beautiful, man. It's glorious. And... I I actually asked him if they uh, he could do some for me. I I was willing to pay him and everything, or pay these guys. But and then he blocked you, right? He basically said, "Heck no, I'm not doing that for you. That's the most ridiculous thing. Don't ever ask me for any favors." Well, I asked him. I'm like, "Hey, I I, I would love maybe you can get an autograph from you know the Wampa guy or you know one of those guys like." Oh, and they told I'll me the price. One better. They told me the prices. I go, well, maybe just give him a pen or something <laughs> instead. I go, let's see if you can get a shout out. But it was it was nice. Dino even asked me, he's like, hey, maybe I can get him in a, to give you a shout out. And I'm like, yes, please. That would be super awesome. Yep. But don't say super awesome geek show. Just say left coast. Left coast awesome geek show. But it's funny because every single one of them. Maybe you should change your coast and they're, they're just saying it wrong. It's Maybe hilarious. change the name of your show to Super Awesome Left Coast Graphics. Oh, I got lots of fun names I could use. <laughs> I had an idea every time I did a new video, and I, I did it on one or two videos, and no one noticed it at all. I would, I'm like, hey, welcome to you know Geek Strong, and I'm like, no, no, that's and I and I ran through like five of our of our crew's you know YouTube intros because everyone's got their little their little clicks, their little their little things yeah. that they like to say and. Um, I, I, I don't that's want to I say them all, but I do want to say them all. That, that's what I realized. I don't have like a catchphrase. Well, you hey got Vern. like you, you say left say, hey coast, Vern, the best coast, do. and Dino goes, "We're all geek strong, or let's do it, or whatever." And I don't have like a like a like a phrase. So if you guys in the chat could come up with like a catchphrase, I was thinking of something like, "If you got something on your mind." Just give it a Vern rant or something like that. But I mean, that even that doesn't even actually. I, I, one thing that you always say is like. And remember, have a nice day. Yeah, I, I, like every video forget. is like, like don't people forget are actually going to forget to have a nice day. So, so far, you got that one. I do. Yeah, I, you I need do it. That. I, I recently cool. found a new YouTube channel. Sorry to bump you there. That's okay. Um, he's called yeah, Casper I'm used to it by now. He's called Casper Site. And he's he's British guy. And all he does is react to like alien, little alien videos on TikTok and UFOs and. Is this a, are we going to get into this? I think you talked about him before and then I had to edit well, it. I might have talked about it in private, but I'm just saying, like, he has like 52 catchphrases and I love them all. And it's what makes him like one of my most entertaining well, it's people not a I've seen on, on YouTube. But them. I can't steal them. Like, they're his. I can't use them. But I can, I can use them. I'm going to go watch his channel right now. I'm I recommend him. Everyone look at his channel. channel and subscribe and do the thing. All right, I'm reading some of the comments. Let's say hi to people in the in the chat. We got Sonny Sundries who says, "Man, I wish I could be on the show since it's Mo too, but I can't." He's probably not camera ready. We got Gap after dark saying hello. Sonny is here again. Good day, mates. And then uh, Mr. B, hey, hey. And then you got uh, Rolando saying hello. Uh, let's see. Rolando um, said he needs an, an intro and outro as well. What? Rolando needs an outro and an intro. Rolando, please do individual thumbnails for all your videos so I could tell yes. them apart. <laughs> Work on that first, Rolando. <laughs> it does. I mean, help. It, like, it's iconic. I mean, if you follow the rules, if you follow the rules, right? Like YouTube analytics or YouTube kind of says you should make sure that your thumbnail is recognizable. So when people see the thumbnail, they know it's you. Like, to make yourself very recognizable i do think there should be a little it could be a little bit of like personalization so each video is a little bit different and maybe like um on the side or something like 
Hunt maybe number 457 or something like maybe that. Maybe I'll create one for him, like a generic one. Oh, there you go. Overlay, like just just take Mr. Beast going like, oh, like he's I'm, I'm camping overnight for 24 hours. And he's then everywhere, look, man. Everywhere. Put Orlando's face on it, though. Everywhere. <clears throat> okay. You know what? This is I want to do this before we get too far in. So um, boom, boom. I wanted to put this up there. We lost Lewis Gossett Jr. this week, right? I thought uh, we should pay him a little bit of a tribute, so I threw this up. This is some of, uh, I I felt like some of his more iconic films that I think everybody kind of knows. Iron Eagle, Enemy Mine, right? You got uh, <laughs> Iron Eagle 2 and Iron Eagle 1 and Digstown. Did you see Digstown? You know what? That's probably the only one on the screen I haven't seen, and I know I've heard of it, so... So he's a Chances boxer. Are, I have seen it, but it's been so long. It's yeah, been he, so many movies too. That's probably one of my favorite movies um, from back from around that time. He's like a boxer. He's kind of like aging out of his prime, aged out of his prime. Um, uh, James Woods is like a, like a better. They come to a small town where there's like a fight and stuff like that, and then it's like oh, a, yeah, it's a big twenty-four movie, fights right? or something like that, and like in 24 hours and and he has to win all the fights to win all this money but of course of an officer and a gentleman down there at the bottom uh won the best supporting actor in 1982 oh my gosh right crazy that was a great movie great movie. yeah so anyways um just wanted to throw that out there lewis gossett jr sorry i didn't mean to cut you off it's okay rmp sir RMP. Then you got uh, Holly Chronicles and hey fellas, just queuing for a flight and checking. Is are you flying down to LA to go to WonderCon? That is the question because it's already one and a half days over. He's gonna when? fly to Australia. Him and uh, Gary Moore to deliver all those toys that Ed Five bought on yesterday's uh, auction that he had live on YouTube, and it went very well. Good job on that, Andy. Oh, good. He's, he's not about doing that on YouTube, but I'd only have three people in the chat and. Two of them don't know what Kenner Star Wars is. So it wouldn't so work for me on YouTube, but it worked. You guys did great for it. So he's not selling, he's not, he's not traveling with a, a, jo a Java cell barge. Maybe. To Australia. Hmm. Everything but. Ed Five bought a lot of cool vintage stuff. <laughs> Enough to pay for the flight to Australia. <laughs> sure, you never know. Why don't you just buy me a ticket instead of I paying? Add, I didn't add it up, but yeah, he spent a couple of bucks. A couple, couple of dollar dues. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Um, the other thing is, uh, right, let's talk. Let's do our pop culture of the week. So I have this. I set this up. I saw this article today, and it's and it was like, these are the movies that they turned off after ten minutes. People are sh are sharing the most overhyped movies that ended up being. Beep. <laughs> okay, interesting article. So I thought it was kind of a lot of movies I've turned off. That's for sure. So Lady Bird. This is these are the ones kind of listed in there. I I didn't do all of them because they did list Barbie and then they did list um um some other movie I can't I, that I feel like I would have watched. But Lady Bird, Lisa Frankenstein. One I never even heard of Lisa Frankenstein. That's a brand new one. I, I is that what it is? I'm not. I have not watched it, and I probably won't even watch ten minutes of it. Okay. It just doesn't seem appealing to me. Near you know, I, but every other thing on there. Um, I, I think I have watched, and the you only saw Lady Bird. That sucked was the Eternals. Yeah, yeah, and you wish you would have turned it off after ten minutes instead of hoping it was going to get better. I'm not going to lie, I did. It took me several attempts to watch Eternals completely. Several, like it's one of those ones where you okay, I'm going to watch it, and then 50 minutes in, you turn it off or you fall asleep or, or and then you try again, right? And you're like, oh, it's just it's just not good, man. I have no desire to spend another hour and a half watching this but i did man i had to had to do it had to watch so here's my, my marvel problem. movies my problem is the hobbits on on their list and the interesting thing is i don't one i don't know how they made three movies out of it <laughs> being this right the it should have been like half a movie it's but, interesting um, because they were all really high budget yes, you know big yeah. movies like uh, even at the time I, um, I, I enjoyed them right. all thoroughly. Like I thought, it's it was needed in pop culture. Um, you know the books and the cartoons from back in the day 
were not enough. So I'm glad it was made and and they picked some you know very talented filmmakers to make them. And that's a lot of hours, man. Like people that went to theater and maybe watched all three of them in a row yeah. are all six with the Lord of the Rings. That's insane, man. Couldn't do I it. mean, I still have my um my oh, that's record, awesome. record with storybook in it. That's right? is it a full a size record? Yeah, it's a it's a full size record and it comes with uh has a full set like a storybook inside. And I remember like um I used to check this out of the library regularly just because where is it? I've never owned it, but I've seen it before, maybe at a, a toy show or something. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, that's my favorite. That's beautiful, man. I love that. I love all the artwork. Ralph, even the Ralph ba Batchy stuff. Yeah, so what I thought I'd do is uh, the reason why I put that up there in the first place was because I was like, can you think of any movies that you turned off after 10 minutes? And you yes. guys in the chat also, what, what movies have you turned off after 10 minutes? Because they just did not. You know what First I mean? one that stands out in my head, it was um, in a movie theater. And this is what I'm going to say, eight, late 80s, early 90s, Dance with Wolves. What? I love Paid, that movie. Went in the theater, and like 20 minutes went by, and he was still like crossing a river or something. And I'm like, yeah, I'm out, man. That I'm was out. Fantastic, man. I'm Dude. out. And went and watched whatever, Back to the Future 2 or just something else. It was just, yes. And then at home, I rented. I believe it was VHS back in the day. It might have been a DVD. Um, oh, what was it? Was it called Naked Lunch? Naked. It was called Naked Lunch. It was a weird movie with a, like a talking typewriter and no, it, it wasn't that one. That one I didn't take back. There's a movie with I believe it was a David Lynch movie with people get into act car accidents and have open wounds and then they have experiences with these open wounds and I'm like, what the freak is this and i, I actually went to blockbuster it. and said yes i want my money back and you should burn this copy I, of this movie i couldn't sit through ted oh i can't remember the name of that movie man Dr not drive um the one word movie it's got that blonde guy who was in a lot of 80s movies 30 something <laughs> um, gone in 60 seconds that's nicholas cage no, blonde guy, a blonde guy that was in. Okay, everybody, let's let's guess the movie that's in Rick's head. It's an '80s movie. I guess I could use it with a Google. blonde guy and a car. <laughs> and there's a car in it. Drive. It's, it has the same name as another movie as well. Is it called Drive? It might be called Drive because they get into car accidents, and then they they make whoopee to like the open wounds, and it's just. No, this is bizarre. I don't even want to talk about this movie. Then. But it was a big movie. Like it wasn't like you know, underground B movie. It was a <laughs> like Death Race 2000. Yeah, it was actually a big movie with Oh my gosh, no. We're not no, talking it's not about called that. Drive. What the heck? All right, let's let's just move on. This is All right, uh, next. Nobody else has, has any other um movie. It was called Crash. Oh, Big yeah. a Drive Angry with uh, Nick Cage. No, it was called Crash. Okay, Crash was a was a compilation movie where um, it, there was like some LAPD scenes or something like that, and right where there were a whole bunch of lives. Like, man, no, that's not it either. Crash was actually a good movie. Anyways, I don't know. Dark Blue was a good movie, but it was hard for a lot of people. That's that Kurt Russell. I remember when it came out, it yeah, was yeah. A really big hype. But I, I don't think I think if I were to see it today, I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't sit through it again. Anyways, um, let's see. Mandala Luke Mandalu seven hundred four has joined us. Gary's Grills has jumped in, um, and nobody except for Sonny has discussed any movie that he wanted to put on that list. The Rings of Power. Doing good. Thanks. 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 Oh, drive. No, not. <clears throat> All right. I did find a new show. Okay, um, go ahead. Three Three Body Day or something like that what? on Netflix. Three Body Day. Um, I heard people talking about it and I saw a clip. All right, everybody. Three this Body is Rick... Problem. Three Body Problem is called. It's I a think, series I think on Netflix. That. 
Yeah, last it's week. It's a yeah. crazy, crazy, crazy. It's very scientific and stuff. I you know that I'm not going to understand, but it's 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 a. Is it real science now. though? Is it real yeah, science? It's got some subtitles because it takes pay, place in, in China and then modern day. It's it's crazy, man. I'm gonna have to recommend it, even though I'm only two episodes into it. <laughs> yeah, because there's too many. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's almost every other movie on Netflix is true that I start it and I'm like five minutes in. There's one that we started yesterday and I was like, oh, okay, I wanted to stick it through because it's Nick Cage where he's like a buffalo hunter or something like that. I'm going to watch like, that one. And I'm like, okay, they. it got You're crazy. Showing because they, You're showing they, off an album? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Henry Winkler. This is like basically... Just Fonzie's favorites. N nothing to, you know, it's not official Happy Days stuff, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of cool. And it has this little. So he doesn't sing on there. No. They just, they just, they just put a compilation of songs together Which and is... then decided to, to, okay. So, so it's a, it it's a best of album and they just are promoing it and making it like a Happy Days thing. Okay. Well, it says on here now. It says, no, the Fonz has not taken to singing on this album. Better, he has chosen favorite 50s records to share with you. Hey. <clears throat> All right, anyways, um, let's do the creator spotlight. This Excellent. is going to get me into a little bit of a trouble. Uh-oh. Yeah. So let me go grab the guys. Um... Oh, way to be prepared, Vern. I don't. You can edit this after, right? I, I yeah, I won't. I won't though because. Oh, no. I'm trying to think of that blonde guy's movie. That blonde guy in the eighties. I was talking oh, about. They're making fun of you. They're basically making fun of you though by saying that maybe it's Bullet from nineteen sixty eight, and you're just getting the two decades confused. James something. He's now bald, and he has a been on a detective show for many years. All right, here here it is. The creator spotlight. Ready. This is digital. It looks like digital Ronin, and uh, it's at digital Ronin. He's on Instagram. I was uh, checking it out. He's got uh, one thousand ten followers right now. Takes action figure photography, and if you look at what he says in his comments, he says at copyright Travis Ingram. Me, please do not use or alter <laughs> without permission. So hopefully, by giving him a shout out, I'm not going to get in trouble for using his stuff without his permission <laughs> oh what did someone flag you before no he's just he just says it in here and i'm took some of his pictures but anyways it's links in the oh, comments. I see it. yeah and then uh i thought they looked pretty cool so there's one of the vamp it's pretty timely those are very cool very good yeah it looks really cool and then he's got uh blade there with uh snake eyes and they're tracking in the snow looks like and there's some blood i think that picture looks really really cool I like good team ups like that too. You just yeah. pick random, yeah. where they're where they're two different properties, but but yeah, they look good together. And then I can see them hunting together. Uh, fireflies using uh, the launcher from Scrap Iron, and then let's see, I think I got one more picture off of them. Nope, that was it. I didn't want. I went out this morning and, and took some photos too. Yeah, that's cool. So, anyways, if you uh, are interested, give them a follow over there on Instagram. And just say, hey, cool photography. We saw you on the Toy Duo team. Nice work. Yeah. Like I said, hopefully he won't get upset that I took. Oh, I know, right? Paul Morales has jumped in saying, hello. Hello, Paul. All right. You took some pictures today. You wanted to jump in and be a part of the um, creator spotlight with your own photos? Eventually, I hope to make the cut. Yeah. You, you want to show any of them off today? Um, I, I can show you a couple, but okay. I did I did a Google search, and that movie was called Crash from 1996, and it starred James Spader. Okay, so not even close to. No, I said Crash. Yeah, but you but said it. Was from do not watch that James movie. Spader. Everyone what? watching this, do not watch that movie. I will not refund right. you money on Netflix. Let's take a poll here. Done. Rick said it was a movie with a blonde actor from the 80s, and then he pulls up a movie from the 90s with a red-haired actor. I googled blonde hair. No, I, I knew it was called Crash because they remade it in a kind of way with uh, Matt Dillon, which was it was not the same. No, that Matt Dillon that wasn't wasn't he like a police officer or something like that? 
that wasn't the same kind of movie, right? Uh, I don't, I don't think it was. No, it was completely different. It just had the same. It shared the same name for whatever reason. All right. Well, I'm not. But, um, I'm yeah, trying to do the, I'm trying to do the chat watch. and stuff like that, just so you guys know that in previous weeks, Dan from Dandy 1981 usually pops up all of the chat stuff. So, um, because as everyone knows, I do chat for 0.7 seconds and he's much better about leaving the comments up there a little bit longer. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's one of Rick's pictures. There's one. So yeah, the, my black series Ewoks and uh, my, my Kenner battle wagon, which I'm thinking today I'm going to part with it. Oh, but uh, before I did, Gotta take some snappy pictures. I love these Black Series Ewoks. I can't believe there's only three of them so far. What is this battle wagon from? It's from uh, the 1980, 84, 85 Power of the Force Kenner line. Oh, okay, I have not seen it, but 84 so Power of the Force was out in 84? Yeah, it was the last of uh, and there's a little clip from one of my shorts. Oh, when I think of the power of the force, I'm thinking of that like '90s rehash where everybody had the Masters of the Universe. No, Masters. they just reused that name, which okay, has always kind of bothered me. And there's a uh, Lord Hammer, Lord Hammerhead. What's he got in his hand there? Is that a it's a gaffy stick? He needs. He doesn't need a weapon because he's you know he's he's so tough and and he's force sensitive. Is and this where, lots of powers. how far did you have to travel to take these pictures across the street? There's a forest across the street, a park. It's a park, yeah, but there's also oh, like literally a forest. a forest. So I found this cool little mossy mound. Um, there's lots of cool places. I try to avoid getting like the actual fence and who's the buried, road. who's buried over there in that, <laughs> that freshly dug hole. <laughs> I live in a pretty good neighborhood. It's, if I live downtown or on the east side, maybe there'd be some. Oh, I do see buildings behind those trees. Yeah. Yeah. So I I live behind me. Okay. So what I realized taking these photos is the the three parts that I'm missing, and I'm I'm like pissed off that I was missing those pieces. So I'm I'm missing a wall on this side, and it, it's supposed to have a little drum here, and I'm missing that drum. Rick, and I'm pretty Rick, sure that drum is worth 200 bucks on its own. Are you sure it's from the 80s, Rick? You sure it's not from the 95 Power of the Force 2? No, this is... Sonny is saying it also looks like it's 90s. 19, 1985, I believe, is copyright on it. All right. I don't remember any Power of the Force. This, this was never made again in the Star Wars line, but the Kenner Robin Hood line did remake this with different color parts, no skull on the top, and like some mounted crossbows and and like Which Robin Hood accessories. But it was a reused toy at some point. I have so, it right here. What's really interesting is the bottom of this little carriage thing actually looks like it's the side of like a log cabin. Yeah, it's kind of meant to look like that. So here's the Robin Hood one. You can see it's got different color wheels. Got these little shields on the side. Um, there's the, the, the drum I'm missing for the Ewok one. So this is probably only worth like, you know, 80 bucks or 100 bucks. Or the Ewok battle wagon, you know, three, four, five, six hundred bucks complete. Just a cool vehicle. Do you think that 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 Star Wars one is worth six hundred dollars? Yeah, I was doing my research this morning to see what recent ones sold for, and complete ones have, have sold for $550, $600 easily with, without a box. And then with people that have the box, because the box is gorgeous artwork on it, um, another couple hundred bucks. So it could be a $1,000 piece. Hmm. Very interesting. Cool. One of my favorites, and definitely a grail for, for many people, and, um, you know, Times are tough, and I do have to let it go. So enjoy these photos. All right. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go cry, though. And Mr. B is confirming, yes, that is from the 80s. Rolanda was saying, though, that um, that photo looks like <laughs> it's 2020. I took the photo today. 
I rezzed up a photo I took in 1984 as a child. Did you use AI to help create that photo? No, I, I've I've only ever opened up AI on like TikTok or or something before. I, uh, I, I'm I scared can't. to use it. I, I'm totally scared to use it. I don't want to use it. It takes away from what I freaking do for work. Like literally, like if I could just type into like Chat GTP or some AI software, like design this that would normally take rick four hours of design Boop, done. like how does that benefit me like it doesn't it i'm doesn't. having a tough time i'm not lying as a graphic designer right. in 2024 i don't get those calls every day like i used to all right all right let's do um we're gonna do this we're gonna do the hot or not and then we're gonna do something else so if anybody from the chat wants to jump in for that last bit that we're going to do today um uh, just let us know and we'll look through and we'll invite somebody to come on to play rick and who knows more <laughs> anyways let's do the hot or not section does it um, have a cool intro what i was going to do the or... thing from like uh war games where it was like do you want to play a game but then Perfect. i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't get a good clip of it without okay, showing you, you couldn't get copyright approval, approval on time what? Yeah. All right. So anyways, these are the toys being peddled to us this week from your favorite toy companies. Mostly probably Hasbro. Uh, let's see. Since we've been this. doing this, aren't you finding that every week there's like more and it's, more new toys revealed? It's it's like uh, they must know that we ridiculous. do this. Who could afford who you could never afford to get everything. There's a couple people that I see on the Twitter like that just oh, have I everything. ordered everything today. Like, okay. Okay. So yeah, these are from our me, Carlin. These are movie maniacs, six inch posed Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa. I'm all in for these because I'm just assuming there will be a Clubber Lang. Sure. A Dolph Lundgren down the line. I don't know for sure. I'm just like, why wouldn't you? And that would be all in. If I knew right away there's a Clubber Lang, I would pre-order these. If these were like now, action figures, I would be like really like considering them. But because they're just posed. Yeah, um, and I guess that's part of, I'm assuming he has that kind of license when he because he has a lot of these statues that are, you know, National Lampoons or, you know, different licenses. So yeah. I wonder how much of a difference the license would be for McFarlane to to make this a posable action figure as opposed to a plastic statue, right? Because it's yeah, made of the same materials, same me, factories, probably. <clears throat> Very good question. I wonder what the what the difference is between making a posed or not posed uh, action. Because figure. NECA right now, I believe, has a license to you know, or has in the past done Rocky figures, and before that, Jax Pacific did some Rocky figures, and so I guess it's a license that might change hands often. Yep. Um, there's Ro you know, super seven did some, some there's, Rocky reaction figures. So there's, there's hold on. There's Dino in the chat. Won't join us on the screen, but there he is in the chat. You know, I like, I like these because they're six inch scale, but I'm just baffled as to why they're six inch scale. When all of his action figures are seven inches because or, he doesn't... or, they're five and a half, they're, or they're four inch superpowers, or they're they're five inch Batman sixty six. Okay, I, I have a I this uh, you want to know what my question is? My question is why does Rocky get six thousand four hundred units, but Apollo only gets five thousand six hundred units? Interesting, I never noticed that. Yeah, that's what I want to know. If anybody, yeah, I like knows, that little versus little thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So let me know if you guys know in the chat why Rocky gets more units than Apollo Creed. Interesting. I wonder. I'm and gonna... and you know what's interesting? Even more interesting to me is when they did that Witcher um, two pack, and they did like nine thousand six hundred units, and now they're like basically on clearance on Amazon. <laughs> it's nine thousand of them on clearance. So basically, yeah. they couldn't even sell nine thousand six hundred of them. But that's like when you, okay, it's kind of neat to see numbers like this too. So okay, he's making. You know, five, six thousand of these. Yeah. So, how many like Batman with black armor and a yellow, you yeah, know, exactly. like exactly? I mean, I'm how gonna, many? I'm going to say 10,000 plus. 
for maybe main that's all they're stuff. doing and and then they're just and then when they go on clearance they're <laughs> like dino it's because the movie's called rocky <laughs> i get that but if like let's say i had an online toy store in philadelphia i'm just picking philadelphia because that's the home of rocky and i put these up for pre-sale on my toy store i i wonder which one would sell more like i i yeah. and, and sadly we just lost carl weathers, carl so weathers like, right right that makes him a little more sadly popular in a way mm-hmm. like collectible yeah i mean i mean but if you're gonna if you're not a collector and you were just gonna get one because you would obviously you would get rocky right for so me, maybe, my favorite character in all the Rocky movies is Clubber Lang. So, of course, I is. have priorities. It's, it's Clubber Lang, then yeah. Rocky, then Apollo Creed, and then Ivan Drago, and then Mickey, and then the robot, and then Adrian. Well, then you're not going to like this at all. Yeah, I've got I've got two of them. It's a cool one. It has that holds some value. That's yeah. the black shorts one. All right. Okay, let's get uh, get away from Rocky then. Um, cool. Rolando saying cool. he thought they were poseable. These ones are like statue versions. These are statues. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay. So but the anyways, ones they revealed last week, Ozzy Osbourne and Alice Cooper. Yeah. What music maniacs? They Something. are poseable action figures. So he's doing both in his maniacs line of figures and statues. Because right. National Lampoon one. With Chevy Chase was a statue, and then there's another movie maniac that was a statue as well. So maybe movie maniacs are statues, and music maniacs are figures. I guess. Yeah. All right. So we got we got a clone trooper and a battle droid. Um, You know what's interesting about this is uh, that they are less than the cost Mm -hmm. of the two figures individually. They figured it out. Yeah. So and it's, it's it's something they should have done in every line of Star Wars toys they've ever had since the 90s, like when they started up again. They should always make army builder packs like this. This is a yeah. great army builder pack for Black Series. It's a, a generic phase two clone and a generic, you know, yeah, and they're both you, clean, so you can weather them. If you're into this like era, right? Like I'm not so much sure. this is not like I'd rather have regular stormtroopers. Right. So I wish they would do more sand troopers and more like regular troopers. Yeah. Like what ideally like uh, more appealing to maybe me and you this same two pack, but with a storm trooper and yeah. a rebel fleet trooper. Like, oh, yeah, that would actually be really, really and, cool. And Black Series is not a, one, a popular one. army yeah. building like six inch figures are not a big army building line. So I do get it. Right. But I'm not going to lie. I do have tens and, and 20s stormtroopers and. And dozens of clone troopers because I I just like them. Yeah. And we all have ten Boba Fett's, right? And ten right. Darth Vader's. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not army more building than them. ten Boba Fett's, but yeah. And we're not army building Boba Fett's. It just they release one every week. All right. So then we got TVC the HK droid. I, I don't know why the pictures are messed up here, but it's the HK droid. And then I I know why because I would I didn't delete the HK droid is supposed to be this dark trooper thing and Pretty then it was cool. supposed to be the HK droid and they're in the TVC I don't like the digital renders at all but I think it's cool that they're like trying the to show, you, show it to you in the package yeah I like as an artist I like it and I get it but um I don't know like it's why don't they do it for everything like when they show us those things in their fan streams and they call them pipeline reveals right? And they just show like a little generic photo from the movie. Yeah, they've they already can. been designed at that exactly. point. Look, the I card already, back exists. So this picture here, I already made that point. A it long might time not ago. be approved by Lucasfilm or it, by by the mouse, but they can put a little note at the bottom, like all the other manufacturers. Yeah, not final about. product or whatever. Yeah, yeah, not approved until like Jumbo. They, can, they could definitely do Metal that. Too. Giant does it. Just to give you an idea of what what they're potentially looking at doing for the figure, I, I I'm I'm on board with you. They're getting there though. Like then, what's next is getting their photographers on par with like the GI Joe and uh, sadly the Power Ranger team. They Gap take thing. yeah, they Gap take cool right. diorama set photos as opposed to just all generic. The, all the stormtroopers are beginning to look similar. Yeah. 
All right. And then and then they had this uh, Star Wars Black Series Last Command four pack. This is a, a 90. So it's like four figures for 90. So it's actually like ten dollars less than the twenty five dollar price point. And I don't know who this box. guy. <clears throat> I like I like the, the Mara J. They did something different where they gave her the different headdress, which was kind of cool. Um, yeah, I thought the whole head might be different, too. I could be wrong. Well, they had they have the other head, which is the same as the one that came in the comic box. So but then two they, heads? It, yeah, it has two heads, one with this little headdress piece and then the other head, it looks like. So that's kind of cool that they did that. Um, this guy right here. I, I call him Joris Kaboth. <laughs> yeah, it's just and like, I totally remember him from from reading the books. I remember reading those books, uh, working at a T-shirt company every break and every lunchtime. Yeah. Reading those books and my introduction to Thrawn and, and this guy and. You never know, man. We might see this guy in live action. Yeah, so that is pretty cool. And then they had the two Lukes, Luke and Luke. Now, the one thing I will say about this is, <clears throat> so the Luke in the black outfit is the same one that's on indoor, basically, but with the fold down piece, right? And it's also yes. the Jedi Luke. So here's what I wish that they would have done. Um. And I know this is going to be contrary to what I had said last week about uh, soft goods, but I think they could have included a soft goods over piece because in the comic, he starts out dressed like he did in Jabba's palace and I guess yes. removes that during the fight. So they could have added that extra piece or even had it like made it. So it snapped closed if they were going to do like the rubber so that oh, you could have the two looks. For sure, it's it's I've always it's always baffled me too. Like the original Black Series Luke Jedi they made came with a soft goods cape. Cape. It was a Walmart exclusive, hard to find. The cape was kind of brown, but it, it worked. It was like, yeah, that's our Kenner. Yeah, Luke I, Kobe, where right? is that one re-released? And then even the retros released Luke Jedi again, but with a black cape because they kind of teased us. Luke had a black cape on the back of the card backs originally, but right. he, he came out with a brown cape. But since they since then, they've released this Luke on a Return of the Jedi anniversary card back, and now this, and neither of them come with the soft goods rope, and I just don't, I don't get it. Like it's well, the thing is with, with this the the Luke in the black, he wouldn't have the robe dressed like that. He would have the robe with the outer piece, right? That little dress piece. So yeah. that's the one I think that they should should have re released. Where he was in the full garb and then giving him the robe, considering this other guy got a a soft goods robe. But it is the same outfit, like throughout. Yeah, underneath, if you took that like Walmart one and took that piece off, he has that same chest piece under yeah. and stuff like that. But this is basically just a throwback of the first Jedi Luke that they came out with and that had the swappables. And I don't know if they were trying yeah, to that was Jedi. a bad figure. That very first yeah. one was so bad. I'm glad yeah. I got rid of it. All right, and then um, we'll get away from Star Wars so we don't have to keep beating them up on that. Um, we have the... Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. These guys make me laugh a little bit because every time I go into Ross, it's like they can't sell them for five ninety nine. dollars What? These two figures. I well, know this are, is this is high toys, but the but the Hasbro ones are just sitting in Ross right now, and oh, the classifieds in there, they're just sitting in there, and yeah. it's like they can't get rid of them. You know what I mean? So it's like these are two figures. If I was high toys, I wouldn't have made. Well, knowing. with these characters now in the classified, didn't they didn't they make them in, in a three pack and then a. a and then yeah, eventually they're... on their own or something. So I get it. Like they may be messed up there by selling them two different times. Well, yeah, but People they got did them it the like first time and were happy. But they did it like a year apart. You know, when either the the, yeah, yeah. The, the 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 fire team ones or whatever, or the crimson ones just came out recently, but these were like the originals. These would have been like the throwbacks and and um you know what's what's really funny is like for a while I couldn't find them. I couldn't find before one of them. the sales. Yeah, I could find uh, Zamet. I've never, never seen them at retail. Find, yeah, I never could find Tomax, and then all of a sudden they were at Ross, and they're still there. So if you're looking for them, just head over to Ross. Yeah, I don't. Right. I only own a couple of Hyatt toys, like some Aliens one, 
and uh-huh. the detail for 375 is incredible man okay. are they good yeah very good very good quality all right and then um this is the evil airship of skeletor yeah, there's another nickname it? I can't remember, but it's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I love like that the blue that beetle picture, figures. It's almost there. as cool as that blue beetle that ship. Yeah, but look at this crew that you ride with. What a good crew! Like, yeah. imagine going through the McDonald's drive-through with these three guys complaining to the manager. It would be cool if those little flame things do they fire off or do they just stick on? Well, I just noticed those. I don't know. Probably they probably don't fire. Yeah, because toys that's pretty cool. toys aren't toyetic anymore. Uh, Sonny's telling you it's the collector. The collector, that's what it's called. Yeah, it's cool looking. I dig it. Yeah, and I love the cartoon figs. And then uh, I, some of these might be mixed up. I'm not a big uh, Motu, but this is. Um, uh, these are Origins characters. Yeah. So yeah, they had a bunch of Origins characters, and then a bunch of the Masterverse seven inch characters. And there's one or two from each that I must have. I don't Any really like Mo Two a lot, but there's a couple that I must have. Are you getting that that lizard dude with the no with the shield? No. When you get to it, I'll let you know. How about, this is how, cool. I do like Cringer. Cringer looks. This great. is actually very interesting to me because it's it's very cartoony. You know what I mean? Like that's what it's based on. It's based yeah, on it the looks cartoon. like the cartoon, so it's kind of like cool in a way because it's got this very like um, uh, Scooby Doo ish look. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get my Motu Origins Battle Cat and and Panthor at a deal, at a cheap price on on sale. Um, so yeah, this one too. Like, if it comes to Walmart or for forty bucks or whatever, I probably won't pay that. I might wait and maybe catch it at a lower price. But I do want that cat. It's pretty cool. Animals are cool. Sonny really wants this one. Yeah, and then. Um... Who is this? This is Beast Man from the movie. Is this like a, a, a the other version? This is not like a regular, right? It's a Masterverse. This is the Masterverse. seven inch line. So they they already made like the Dolph Lundgren style um, He Man that didn't look like Dolph Lundgren, and then the Skeletor from that movie, and they're they're kind of cool. There's a there's a place for them in in the Motu collectors collection. All right. This is fun. It's it's a it's a it's an odd character because it's not a main character and it looks so funny in the movie. Yeah, but he looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of something that I might see in was, uh, even though I didn't watch Flash Gordon. I yeah, feel, yeah, I love yeah, Flash I feel like Gordon, a little, Flash a little, Gordon-ish little there. Bigfooty, Planet of the Apes looking. Yeah, something like that. It's just not orange. Like Beastman is orange. <laughs> right. And then uh, the Skeletor with his throne. Just- this is badass, but it, it looks look like really it's exclusive cool. to um, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth, as far as I can tell. Okay, this looks like something that you could use, like just getting the throne would be cool because you could use it with like other stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I like about it. I, I don't yeah. really care about the figure, although yeah. it looks great on the throne. But yeah, how cool would like Mr. T look sitting on that throne or 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 Lord King Hammerhead himself? Yeah, somebody, somebody. That that looks really cool. So this is one of the items I wouldn't mind getting, but it will be tough as a Canadian to get this from, you know, one of those collector stores sure. in the states. Sure. And then um, this, I thought that when I first saw this picture, I was like, "Is this um, uh, the Space Ranger guy, the Buzz from Buzz Lightyear?" I, I think it's just a repaint of a silver version of this exact same figure yeah. in the Origins line. And you got swappable arms and parts, which is cool because a lot of those parts are, are used on other figures. And it, this line is great for swappable parts and mishmashing and making your own uh, monster mashup figures. Horde Horde Troopers, Troopers, Prime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, uh, Kiwi, a G.I. Joe Customs and Collection is saying the black hole. Yeah, a little bit, right? Black yeah, so I got rid of most of my origins except my gray skull and and a, a select of a few Papa figures. Hey, Papa G. But I kept a few because they're still fun. Cool. But they're so hard to find in Canada. I don't see them in retail. Yeah, anywhere. you're not going to. They're, they're all at Ross right now. Yeah, the battle yeah. armor ones were all at Ross the last time I was there. This is actually really cool. I, I I'm up for this. 
it, I'm unfamiliar with it, but it is cool. I did see people say that that He-Man head is just a a repaint of that 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 blue and orange Faker head. Yeah, it's got a weird face to it, but I don't know, it looks looks like He-Man to me. Connor is saying he loves Cringer. Yeah, the Cringer looks really cute. All right, and then um, I think we, we see the problem is with these photos. Like they had the. I had this guy in there earlier, right? But he was um, he was decked out with his shield and stuff. Mer Merman, right, or something like that. Yeah, no. There's the next Merman. If you got the other Merman, that's the one I want. Yeah, I want this dude. Does this guy's head gets really long? I think yeah. this guy, the lizard dude. I call him Neck or Neck or. All of yeah. these look really, really cool. Corn and the Cob Sword. That's a good looking merman. I'm not a big, and these are like Battle Armor, uh, Masterverse, or whatever, yeah. but I'm not a big, big He Man at all. But um, some of these look really cool. And from what I've been seeing from you guys in the States, like all of these Masterverse line go to clearance. Like I I don't think they're as popular as the Origins, but I, I could be wrong. Like I think the Origins sometimes make it to clearance too. Like, I know when in the States, you guys got overwhelmed with He-Mans and Skeletors right off the bat when they first came out a few years ago. You, your stores still have them. Um, but, I mean, since then, I don't think that's happened anymore. Right. I hope you get a picture of that, that Safubi-looking merman. I don't know what I got a picture of. It's translucent and rainbow colors? Probably not. You know me. I probably completely overlooked it. Can't so delete the worst photos. Does not have many collectors. Uh, Rolando likes the Revelations line. Sonny is Thunder Punch He Man. Yeah, they go well with your seven inch McFarlane Batmans. Yeah. So this guy's kind of interesting here. This dude with the sundial. What's his name? Is um. Uh, I don't know, but they. They did make him in the original He-Man line. Yeah, I, a Cyclone. I, I think I have one in a box somewhere that looks. Yeah, he has a little realistic. sticker sticker on his chest. Yeah, and I think like when he flips or he does something. Yeah, I think I, his upper body can. Yeah, and I made devil thing. I think I got him somewhere, and I never knew what it was. And the colors in the vintage one were very, you know, primary bright yellows and and blues. And this is cool. It's kind of got that, yeah, kinda carbonized kind of. It's not metallic. It's more carbonized. Yeah. It's yeah. Got a what little I bit have is like very realistic looking, though. Like it looks like I. I thought I was thinking to myself, like, what What is this from? I couldn't ever identify. I guess oh, his I upper body that. does rotate on this one, maybe. Oh, does it? Looks like sunny. His upper body does rotate. Yeah. I want the sorceress Tila when it goes yeah, on yeah. sale. Yes. It might be unlocked. You know yeah, what? I'm, you know what, uh, Rolando, Rolando? There's somebody that uh, you might know who is always checking out the toy departments and all of their toy stores. He puts up videos up on YouTube. I'm going to subscribe to them. <laughs> so subscribe to him. Yeah, the and, merman I want you to show is that he's got, he has a removable tail as well, like, kind of like. I definitely put the picture in a group. Hold on. Who put a picture in the group? I would have. I don't think anyone else puts pictures in the group. Oh, no. You, yeah, you and me, we're the only ones that are actually ever doing pictures. I'm going to, hey, uh, Rolando, I'm going to link this guy's YouTube channel. You can follow him. He's got a bunch of toy hunt videos. <laughs> it's Rolando's channel. So give him a follow and make sure you can <laughs> check out his toy hunts. Anyways, do it. Um, do it. Uh, and then uh, what is this? Master at arms or whatever. Master chief or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Man at arms, but he's, he's called something else at this point. Yeah. Sonny, Sonny, what's his name? Quick. He's not a Masterverse. 
the vintage, the vintage and 2000 X did another toy hunter. <laughs> Man of War. That's what they call him. Man of, Man of War. War. His name is. Yeah. All right. Did you just add this? I just shared a photo. Did you get? Yeah, because I, I don't see this in the album, but this is one. Again, Origins. It's got some translucent plastic. Yep. Got, you, you can, can fight his Aquaman as he's diving down to get the spear and become Aquaman. This, this is by far the, the winner of this whole reveal. And what do you think of Mattel? Like, look, here is every He-Man figure we're making in 2024. Enjoy. Like, there, it's done. They got their... It's all over and done with. This is what we're yeah. going to get in yeah, 2024. It's and like, It's crazy. They're just like... Of them are now pre-orderable. Yeah. It's amazing, right? So... Got another He-Man. This guy's got like, see, would you rather these be soft goods? I don't know. I, I, has any He-Man no, become a soft because good soft yet? goods aren't going to look good over time, but these will definitely look great on your He-Man. I know some of the Mattel wrestlers in this line have soft goods, but I, I don't know if any he man did. They're really crummy presentation today. Look at that. I didn't even put it in the back. You can't even see like the framing or anything. I do like this with the wings. It's cool. Yeah, the turtles. That, that turtles of that um, merman turtles. is from the Ninja Turtles crossover. Yeah, it's, it's not a Ninja Turtles associated cool. figure. It just looks awesome. Yeah. So there's um, another. This is a turtles one, I'm guessing. Yeah, turtle Tila, I guess. Yeah. I haven't seen any of those in stores yet. Like I've seen them. I might might be tempted because I'm not a Ninja Turtle guy. Look, but they're I cool. Like, they're super fun. I dig. I look at the hair. Look at the hair I, on the turtle. I was going to tell you that it looks like my hair. That's why I'm like, yeah, I'm on, I'm in for it. It just needs it's to be pretty fun. painted black. And they all, and the, all the turtle theme That's accessories. Me, the turtle. He's got a little jar of ooze. That is that is uh, turtle Vern. <laughs> turtle Vern is painted black. <laughs> and they're skinny. Like they're skinny. Oh, box. Skinny it's look, different. look, that's my hair. Yeah, 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 maybe you can swap the hair. <laughs> if I had this figure and put that other hair on, because right now this is more John Travolta. I mean, <laughs> I mean right? It's John Travolta. Keanu. Yeah. Let's see. The hair is removable and swappable. And the only Origins figure I'm waiting for is Rio, Rio Blast. Blast. And then let's see. There's uh, Shredder. Look how stacked he is, eh? Yeah, Just man. Ripped. He's a ripped rat. Went, finally went to the gym to work out. Yeah. Yeah. And that plastic, I think that cape is plastic, but it does look like it might be not plastic. Hard to tell. I think it's gonna be like uh like that firm rubbery stuff, whatever. Confirmed firm rubbery <laughs> stuff. It is all right. And then uh see there's the tur there's the guy right there, the merman yeah, dude. He's so in there. Cool looking man. Yeah. That that one hasn't gone up for pre-order yet, I don't think. So that's yeah. the one I want. It's I just love the clear plastic figures in any line at this point. Gilster is passing because he's running out of space. That's what eBay is for, making space. Hey, Ricardo. Ricardo. How many He Mans do you have on your shelves, Vern? Um, and look at, and it's called like the Bebop Rock Steady. It's called like bebop steady or something like it's a clever yeah. name yeah these are cool looking too let me ask you a question and then just keep talking so you can't answer absolutely <laughs> i only have i think like three three he-man figures okay but none of them are on my shelves they're all in a box somewhere modern ones or, or old yeah, ones? modern no i have i have probably about 10 vintage ones oh okay i wasn't that into them so I do like the the Bebop Rock Steady two headed figure. That's fun. They're having fun with this line Bob for sure. Steady. Bop Steady, yeah. Bob Steady. Bop Steady. All right. I do like the I do like the accessories. Yeah, yeah. An alligator trap. Yeah. A hat. As I like his hat. Yeah, this is too. like if the alligator from G.I. Joe. This one ate. Ricondo <laughs> and took his hat. Yeah, yeah. Ricondo also has a hat. Yeah. All right. Is this the spike or whatever? And the other one I think is called Clawful. Uh, Clawful, yeah. But yeah, Spike or was a, a 
I always liked that character. So the colors just, just you can't beat the color choices in some of these characters. Well, well, I don't know. You you can beat them, but they look <laughs> this guy, this purple and blue dude. I feel like should be in a McDonald's Happy Meal. Maybe one day he will. <laughs> yeah, but the colors remind me of like a McDonald's Happy Meal. These are definitely, if I was buying them, these would definitely, these two would definitely not be on my list of ones that I was very interested in. I, I dig the colors, man. Like Sunny saying, like these, this, they've already released a spike or, and this, you know, now they're just recoloring them in that cartoon. Right. You know, filmation style. Yeah. All right. And then uh, I do like this guy's little uh, grappling hook thing, but I feel like, is that really attached to his head? I think it's on his back. Oh, okay, because it's be wrong. not very clear from this picture, I feel like. I've never owned that one. But yeah, these are also cartoon-based. Cartoon-color-based. Yeah, cartoon. So the Tila looks cooler yeah. than the... Like, the, the original Tila that came out wasn't cartoon-based, right? So this is the... Or, it's sorry, funny Evil thing, Wind. they are new sculpts. All right, and then... Um, Oh my gosh, is that it? Is that all of the it was like this was like Masters of the Universe week. It, it, like I said, they dumped their whole 2024 20, line of Mattel Masters of the Universe toys. Like here it is, boom. So in a month's time, will there be like a reveal of like a San Diego Comic Con exclusive? Like I'm sure there's maybe, a couple maybe. Things to come, but look, Dino's saying he saw the cartoon filmation skeletor at Target and he looked bad. Oh. That's really I'm glad he looked really, really bad like that because that's how I read it, you know. So I don't know what your intent was when you wrote that, but I read it that he looked bad, bad. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it in person. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyways, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Transformers. What do they call it? They call it the Turtles Party Wallop. Wallop. Fifty bucks. It's um, cool. I dig this crossover too, and and now there's some leaked rumors. There's another Star Wars one coming, and there's a, a Knight Rider one coming. So um, Transformers has got two or three different Trans Am Firebirds this year, oh, yeah. and so now they got something to work off a of Knight Rider. But I think it's cool, man. I got the Ghostbusters one, the DeLorean one. Um, only thing missing is the A Team one, and maybe a General Lee. I would go for that, but. I don't think that'll ever happen, but AT Van, come on, make it happen. No, the, the General Lee, a robot maybe, a robot? maybe, but it's not going to have the flag on the top. No, for sure. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is which is fine with me. All okay. right, maybe um, AT in the future. Come on, do it. Yeah, hold the bread van. Okay, and then Marvel, of course, um, re uh, revealed their re-release of the Deadpool and uh, the. Uh, Wolverine for the Deadpool movie that's going to be coming out. So if you don't have these in your collection, now's a good time to kind of get them. I think it's kind of cool. It is cool. This is the only Deadpool I have is this one. I, I dig yeah. it. And I'm not interested in the Wolverine at all, honestly. Not this. I've got s s several different versions of him that are very similar. Yeah, I like the, the one where he's wearing the jacket. I do like that one. I don't have a Hugh Jackman style, though. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I mean, this is this is to me, this Deadpool could easily be any Deadpool, like comic, whatever, because they kept it pretty, you know what I mean? It yeah, but it is the MCU transition. one. Yeah. But I think it does transition very well. So and this is a good, I think a good job by them re-releasing these timely. months and months and months very before timely. the movie gets out because yeah. it's just the it's a we call it a cash grab. It's a good idea. They, they will sell. They'll sell out. I don't right. think you'll see these on clearance at Ross before Christmas or right. whenever they come out, right? Right. I just think they'll sell well. Yes. All right. And then um, you you saw the tease here. These Conan Super Seven. Yeah, these are these are super fun, man. Super I want seven. these. I, I have to get them. They're they're that cool. The thing is, these are digital renders too, but the card backs look really good. But I'm I'm afraid that these figures don't really carry the likenesses over that much but i mean in a way cool. I, I just like them because they're they're original like there's 
no one else has made you know retro five poa conan figures that i know of even in the custom neighborhood yeah. of, of figure makers so it's pretty cool it's i like reactions yeah, pulling like the these deep too, dives right? out yeah 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 all right um well it's, it's darth vader in a new costume yeah so these are cool <laughs> yeah right um and then they they announced jack's pacific has the simpsons figures that went up for pre-order 20 bucks were, for all these men yeah they were showing these off at comic-con or whatever so or WonderCon, I keep calling it Comic Con. It's part of the same org organization. How much are they? It's twenty bucks US for these seven figures. Yeah, yeah, but they barely move, right? It's like the arms. Yeah, they're like two or four POA or whatever, but they're like two and a half inches. So that two and a half inches, I'm guessing, is Homer. So oh, they're yeah, smaller yeah. than the toys they used to make. But I mean, that's cool. Like if they're gonna make 50, 60 different characters from this cartoon, like what a cool size to collect. Like you can, you can fit like a hundred of these characters in a little, you know, Simpsonsville that's or Springville diorama on your, on your shelf. Yeah. I think I might get these, man. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Simpsons growing up. Never really got in the toys. Well, they, they've been around adult. for like three generations, three decades. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. And then the other toy is a little house, a little house diorama that comes with a Homer. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. I'm and not going to get them though. Maybe. No, no. And then there's a a phone, a red, an old red phone. I saw that. That's like the Moe's Tavern phone, and it does all the pranks. Like, so that's <laughs> I think a great gimmick toy. And that's a, actually a, a pretty fun. That would, yeah. To me, that sounds like a pretty fun toy. And then there's a Krusty the Clown like doll, plus right. plus with a plastic head doll, with a pull string in the back. So he says all the Krusty the Clown sayings, but there's a little switch on the back that says like good sayings or bad sayings yes. so i don't know if that means like swearing or something but oh yeah like the pg and the pg 14 version but yeah just classic i have to call them classic have you seen deep space homer i've seen all the homers all right um and then mondo's doing another one six scale uh figure that's going to be the tila so this really was a master of the uh uh masters of the universe week for Honestly. sure, yeah. These one six from Mondo look fantastic. I just don't, I don't, I'm never gonna get one. They're just too See, much. I've seen a lot of them and they're really, really, really awesome. Like, they do look much fantastic. like those Marvel Legends 12 inch figures they made back in the day. They, they have pins and everything, like, they're bulky and they're big and yeah. they're great sculpt detail. And, and a lot of these Mondos have some soft goods and fur. But they sub that pin, the little pin joints make them one step down from like a hot toy. But they're cool, man. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like they're, yeah, they're they do expensive cool. and they're big toys. They're they're fun to look at too when they when they come to Comic Con or whatever and they have their setups. They're really cool to go see. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The photography on this one I thought was really good. I, I really like the use of the lighting for their reveal. So yeah, well, Mondo is a very artsy company, right? Like yeah, it's so yeah. I, I get it. Like, and stuff like that. Yeah. Teases like this are, are fantastic too. I love these teases. Yeah. All right, and then um, look at like that. this, Joker, no Joker Mobile from the animated Batman series. This is fun. I say, keep saying it. Like the retro superpowers line and and these animated Batman's are popular as heck, man. Now those animated Batman figures are like seven inches tall. So this is going to fit a seven inch figure. Um, well, I think he's redone that line and now they're six, five and a half or six inches okay, tall. Okay, so like, but it's still gonna fit that size figure, I, I which is pretty cool because then you could use it with your like say classifieds or whatever. I don't think it'll work with I could be wrong, no. Again, I mean, this is a brand a new small, right. He's but, this is a brand new direction for him. Like this is not superpowers. Um, unless they made a mistake with that DC direct logo. DC Direct is his six inch line now. Like he he took over that DC Direct line, which used to be yeah. made by another company, but it's separate of McFarlane Multiverse or whatever he calls his. Yeah. Is that what's Masterverse? Right. Not Masterverse. I mean, this thing looks really, really cool. I mean, with that Joker face right in the front and stuff like but that. But if you remember the old Kenner toy, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's purple and, and green and white. Like it's very bright. Yeah, it looks cool. So I got a couple other things I'm going to show here. Uh, let me um, present them. 
yeah it didn't good. make it into the slideshow itself because am i showing that right okay so yep so this i thought was cool <laughs> oh it is cool this is more yeah. cool so this is a um from it looks like from target and these are the Voltron Lions, and you can see they got a 40th anniversary logo. I never saw the announcement for this, but they were apparent. It was apparently in the on their Toy Newsy um, page where they said that they were going to re-release this. And these lions are supposedly 20 bucks a piece. Who who makes this? It's you know what uh, toy line this is? uh let's see. Yeah, I think it's the same company that made this classic that came out. Um, I can't read. I, I can't read that logo, and I'm, I'm ha it's struggling to remember who who came out with it. Hold on. Um, Is it one of the new companies like Jada Toys or? Um... No, hold on. It's uh, it's it's been around a while. Let me look up the article again. It's called, um, oh, it's Playmates. Playmates, okay. Yeah. Now, do those lines all form together to make Voltron? Yeah, look, there he is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, that's, that, that won't last long on toy shelves, I don't think, because. No, I, those, those other ones, the ones that they came out with a few years ago, they're very expensive now. And it's prime time Voltron collecting time being yeah. 30 years after, uh, or, or so, you know, right. after its first release. That's cool. I've never seen that. That is really cool. I probably and, won't see it. Maybe I'll see it at GameStop one day. And then, uh, let's see. Remove. Stop sharing. Present. Share. There's a whole lot of resharing and whatever. I wanted to show this off. Uh, Super Awesome Geek Show shared this. I thought <laughs> it was hilarious. Is it a and, recipe? Uh, what? Is it a recipe? No, it's a kid. Oh my god! Apparently, took some Legos out of the Lego box, and somebody made him write an apology, and he left it in a Lego. <laughs> so he stole something. He goes. He's basically saying, like, uh, to whoever reads this, I want to apologize for taking Legos out of their packaging. It was a sinful decision. And I wasn't thinking about my decisions. Oh, how about how my decisions would affect everyone? I'm sure God has now forgiven me, especially since I I am now of out of my Lego snatching phase. But I'd like to have everyone's forgiveness to lift this weight off my shoulders. I'm a really I'm really good and responsible child, and I want to be an author someday. I'm very sorry, and I ask for your forgiveness. I'm pretty sure this person is 44 years old. I noticed that it's not signed. <laughs> because he does not want the retailer to come look for him. That's kind of fun, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. All right. Um, I'm trying to think. There's one, not not that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a thiefer, but I have yeah. a story. Once I was a child, okay. and when I was a child once, there was these Star Wars toys in the stores. And I remember... We were at a store, whether it was Kmart or whatever, way back in the day. Let's say it was 1980. And we left the store, me and my mom and my sister, we left the store. And my mom sees me in the back of the car with like a, a C-3PO figure or something, right? And she's right. like, where, where, did you, where did you get that? And I'm like, oh, I, th I thought you bought it for me. So, yeah. I And so my mom marched me back in the store and made me return it. But, th yeah, that happened. Interesting. I, I, and I'll stick to that story. I thought my mom bought it for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who wants to play a game? Does anybody want to play a game? Uh, let me know in the chat right now if you're interested. And I'll send you the link. You can join us. And you can play against Rick in a new game that we have here on the Toy Duo team that we're probably going to be doing once in a while. Whenever we remember it, he's getting all warmed up. If anybody's interested, let me know. Well, see, they're all chicken burn. Knew, I knew I know, it. Right? They were like, what is this? What is this game <laughs> that you talk about? 
uh, no. Take while, while we're waiting for some the big lineup of people, okay. Um, you watch any good movies or sitcoms this week? Nah, I'm watching no. this show called Tracker on um, uh, Paramount Plus. It's about a guy who finds people or whatever. Yeah, it's um, made like out here, literally. Like it was filming there last week. Really interesting. And it was. It was. I saw something come up on Twitter, like, "Oh, it's filming down in Port Moody," you know. And then, then I watched the next episode, like six days later. It was that episode, like there's that, like that's how freaking fast a lot of these shows are made, like a week in advance. Like you know all the, um, you know Arrowverse, you know on Warner Brothers or whatever the WB, all those shows, you know the really low budget DC action hero shows. Those are like the ones that they have some have special effects. So they may have to spend a couple hours or, or days doing those, but they're literally out like in weeks, like fast. There's no three years in post production and editing, and they just go with it. Same with soap operas, those are done daily. Like the soap opera you watched today was filmed yesterday. Like it's, and I remember learning that as a kid because my mom would always watch. Uh, Days of Our Lives was a soap. I think it's still on. And some of the same actors are on it like 40 years later. Hold on. But All I, right, Gary, I sent you the link in on Instagram. Since nice. you asked, what's the game? Why don't you just join us and you figure than it right? out? <laughs> Nobody wants to know if they're smarter than Rick. <laughs> and you know what? You know, you know who will tell you that Rick's smarter than everybody? Rick. Connor. Nobody. Everybody. Well, I watched the uh, Roadhouse, and it was it was entertaining. It was, but there was like three times in the movie they just threw in. Let's just see if we can add the corniest, stupidest, um, one liner of all time in this movie, That's and they I did think. it, man. I'm like, it actually made the movie drop eight points because they just threw in one or two just such stupid lines, man. But it was fun, man. There's a lot of fighting and Conor, you know, McGregor, you know, just <laughs> being him, being himself, basically. Right. It's 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 it is it's entertaining. It's it's nothing like the original, except you know he's like a bouncer at a place called the Roadhouse. That's the only thing that's kind of the same. But yeah, it was entertaining, man. It's yeah, I was surprised. Like, uh, well, it was I was happily surprised that they didn't just try to make a remake. Right. That he didn't need like a partner to show up and help him out, stuff like that. But I mean, like it, it, there were a lot of similarities because there's a rich guy trying to take over the bar or whatever. Yeah, that, yeah. That, all that. The storyline was basically the, it is loosely the based. And the original, the book did have a couple of corny one liners, but it, yeah. was, it was fun because it was the, Patrick Swayze saying these lines. Look at that. Hey, guys. All right. Welcome, so sir. the what, what the have book, I done? <laughs> the bookstore was the. um the auto parts store kind of right yes yes so that's how you go all right so we're gonna do this uh game i got a coin here it's a giant penny it's got there a head yeah. and a tail um so gary you are the challenger so heads or tails tails heads <laughs> all right it is heads yeah you're so, welcome so Rick that... gets to choose can i eat it with He's going to go first or second. Who, me? Yes. I will go second. <laughs> He's throwing me to the wolves. Thanks again. All right. So we got the game board up. And basically what's going to happen here, Gary, is I'm going to put a slide up. Rick's going to go first. Okay. And I'm going to get my timer. Is that what I said? I was going first or did I <laughs> yes. say the opposite of that? Oh, you're going second. So, Gary, you're, you're going to go first. Okay. So, I said to identify the slide. Is that the deal? No, okay. I, yeah, I'm going to pull up a slide. As soon as I pull it up, I'm going to hit this timer. Yeah. It's going to give you 30 seconds Jesus. to do what it says on the slide. What? Are you ready? Maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I make no um, guarantees, but okay. 30 seconds. Does it count for me to leave this space on my. Actually, you know what? Let me just, I'll pull up the slide and then I'll say 30 seconds and then I'll hit the timer and go. So you have a chance to read the slide before the 30 seconds starts. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll do it that way. 
Okay, yeah. so you have 30 seconds to name as many spaceships as you can that are not Star Wars related. Go. The Ebuchadnezzar, the Enterprise, the, oh God, Serenity. Uh, I'm trying to think of different ships. The Razor Crest of Star Wars. Shoot. Um, the Reliant, a little Star Trek. The Excelsior. Uh, Three, two, one. Yeah, one. I got what six. Time's up. All right. All right. So you got how many was that? Five, right? I don't know. Five or six. Okay. So Gary has gotten five. So you ready, Rick? No, he does the same thing. What? No, I actually, I I told Rick that it was going to be the same question for both, but I. It's not true. <laughs> that would be horrible for me. <laughs> what, I can't just repeat all the same ships and add yeah, them? Yeah, right, right. There's five <laughs> automatic. <laughs> Change the rules midstream. Right, rules. So, so Gary has five. Everybody in the chat, remember that Gary got five ships that were not Star Wars related. Rick, your question is, name as many space-related movies as you can. 30 seconds, go. Spaceballs. Um, Battlestar Galactica, the TV movie. Um, Serenity. Or Firefly, one of those is a movie. Star Trek 1, Star Trek 2, Star Trek 3, oh. Star Trek 4, Star Trek 5, Star Trek 6, Star Trek 7, wow. Star Trek 8, the new Star Trek movie. You got two so far. Um, Spaceballs. I think so I said That was your first answer. You know, I could have I said Enterprise. How did I get two so far? I got eight just with Star Trek. Okay, so... Hold on. It's Gary got five, you got two. And the reason why you got two is because Star Trek, it's called Star Trek the Motion Picture. Star Trek Trek 2 is Star Trek 2 The Wrath of Khan. Star Trek 3 is The Voyage Home. Star Trek 4 is... um, Yes, but I'm limited for 30 seconds in time, sir. Yeah, but Star Trek 1, Star Trek 2, that's those are not titles. Yeah, because well, I could have Enterprise. Star Trek Enterprise. Did he that. mean the NC-1701 or the 1701D? No, because it said it said spaceships names. <laughs> so not three serial two. numbers? Which right, what kind of pride? What do I have to give to Gary today? Five. Hold on. Respect. And, and two. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the chat. <laughs> so it's five to two. You can Ready, edit Gary? You can this edit this your, part out of the show, right? Right, right. No one knows I'm this a is your next. This is your next. So this is next. back to me again? Yeah. Okay. Ready? God help me, yeah. Name as many Marvel superheroes with actual superpowers. Go. Mr. Fantastic. The Human Torch. Invisible Woman. Cyclops. Uh, Marvel. He said Marvel. Oh, my God. Isn't that funny how you're looking around in my room going, wait a minute. <laughs> Scarlet Witch, <laughs> Thor, <laughs> Captain America has superpowers. Ah, uh, yeah, man, doesn't it's a suit? I'm trying to think of Avengers, Division, Beast. All right, time's up. <laughs> <laughs> that was seven. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, so you got seven. <laughs> so, so you have a total two, of twelve I points. I kept thinking of suit related, or people had uh, gear to help them, and that that wasn't All right. working. Rick, you ready? This is your chance to catch up. You don't give me DC superheroes. <laughs> Name as many DC comic superheroes <laughs> with actual superpowers. Go. <laughs> Not Batman, but Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Um, not Hulk. Green um, Arrow. not Robin. Um. I'm loving this. That's what I said. Don't pick DC. Look at he did what I did. Looking at the wall real quick. Supergirl, Superwoman, Superboy, Superman's dog. You got to name the dog. I think Superdog. <laughs> Crypto. All right, you got five. That's tough. These aren't the questions you gave me before the show. The study bird. Yeah. Oh. I expected a little. A little foul score, play. It's 12 to 7, and there's no need to move into uh, the final round. 
Is there seven, a final I got seven <laughs> just in super super family? Oh my god. Okay. Good job, Gary. You just yes. you just that's true, man. Yours, on the on the spot. Then Rick, by double. <laughs> on the spot, I'd like to thank man. the Academy for making this possible. I'd like to thank my producers, my agent. I'd like to thank Vern for the invite. And, uh, Give that man <laughs> a reward. I thought I did horribly, but in hindsight, <laughs> you know. You we know talked so about before. We like, had to make you look good. You know. Thanks. Well, that's tough to do. With this mug. We'll have to. It's think easier of, when uh, it's me on the other end, though. We'll have to come up with what what the prize is. That's cool. I recommend we do this every week. All right. What? But do you have one of me. these chicken McNuggets? <laughs> <laughs> I did at one point. <laughs> is it kind of squishy a little bit? Like there's a hole in the bottom of it. Oh I don't think a prize is necessary, but thank you. I appreciate the effort. But yeah. <laughs> Some turtle wax. Copy the home game. So I wasn't playing, but like I did write, I did kind of write those questions. Like these are going to be pretty easy, but um, yeah, on they spot. turn out not to be so easy. No, no, yeah, yeah. because when stuff goes through spot, your head. Right? Like with the powers, like I said, people that have, like he said, Green Arrow. Yeah, Green Arrow doesn't have power, so that's why I do with the bow. And I kept thinking of like Falcon, but he's got the wings, and people that have, you know. Like Batman. You know Gary, I'm looking behind Gary. Gary did not say Wolverine. He did not say any of the Spider Mans. No. And you know what? He didn't. He was going to say Iron Man too, but he said it's a suit. Yeah. And I had to disqualify you on uh, Green Lantern for the same reason because he doesn't actually have powers. It's a ring. Right. That has powers. Oh uh, yeah, but it kind of gives him the most powers of all. The... No, he doesn't have any power. Superheroes actual superpower. Actually, yeah, that was that was yeah. good. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't as easy as you would think, you know. And I left people out. Even when I was going through raw, I left the thing out. I left a bunch of Avengers out, you know. No. What yeah. else did they get wrong? Does Wonder Woman has powers, right? She does. Yeah. I w see, and it's it's questionable because when you say like somebody like Thor, does he actually have powers, or is he just normal for who he is? He has some powers. Yeah, I would say he classifies it in like yeah. Loki. Loki's got powers. I wouldn't say him, but yeah. Yeah, I would totally say that he's uh, he's got superpowers and stuff like that. So, anyways, did you guys have fun doing that? I did. It was cool because I didn't know the questions before, so it made it's, always, it. it's always fun to win. So challenging. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, so Gary, yeah. who has misspelled his name? Yeah, Gaze Grails. I did that. You know what's funny is the R on my keyboard has been sticking, and I was so <laughs> rushed to get in. I saw it when it came in. I was okay, waiting for someone to say okay. something. You know what? Hello. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Like you just the way you are. Yeah. I'm illiterate, so I didn't notice. No, I did it right away and I said, Oh, I can't believe they didn't comment. Like even in, in the chat, I'm not looking at the chat, but did somebody say something? <laughs> no, I was like anybody time. did now. Uh, yeah. See. yeah, I got a bad R here. I spilled the diet uh, Dr. Pepper about three months ago and then the R sticks like crazy and I didn't catch it. I hate it when it happens. It's right. Yeah. So maybe we'll we'll do a regular um Who's smarter than Rick, and then we'll find out that like every week, and then it'll pretty much be every single person who comes on. <laughs> we'll beat Rick. <laughs> we'll beat Rick. <laughs> Rick, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Rick's like, I'll win, just, I'll win one of them. <laughs> I'm not playing anymore, is what he's thinking. <laughs> if, we, if I play again, I'll eventually I'll win. Uh, and right. we'll learn, yeah. you know, who is actually smarter than a third grader. Are you guys interested in knowing what the uh, tiebreaker uh, question sure. was, or should Why I just? Let oh, it? definitely. It would have been Hulk. Name as many '80s TV shows as you can. See, this was one of the questions he gave me before the show. I got my, <laughs> look at my list here; I wrote down. <laughs> oh my god! Save that for next week. Yeah, we'll probably yeah, that same question. Everybody yeah, will be thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> Well, I'll have to do. I'll have to do something while I, I got to build in some sort of like, um, like a prize or something. No, I like Unless Rick wins, then there's no prize. Just bragging rights. Oh know? yeah. And, and then Rick's shame. That's yeah. that's that's prize no enough for me. Oh, Rick's gonna uh, plug himself. Ready on a video? Not plugging me. I just got. I got this beautiful. Oh, I was gonna say, dude, you've been making like a bandit with the plugs <laughs> lately, Rick. Hopefully the audio works. I'm Nikki Cello and. I go Dean gave her a take two. East Coast is the best coast? Left coast. He's dying. Left coast is the best coast. For graphics, that is. 
<laughs> for graphics. That was so awesome. Thank you so much to to Dino and to to Nikki for for doing that. It just it made my day seeing that man. Yeah. And Dino, awesome. when you beep it, you're supposed to beep it on the f bomb, not one second before the f bomb. But that made it even better. That's made it funnier. Yeah. That was... <laughs> Why even beep it? Didn't so even fun, it. man. I'm I'm so appreciative. Well, you, you send us some cool stuff, so you're. Uh, Nice to repay it, you know. Yeah. I try. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. And I've always been super pumped and excited when you know Vern makes his little commercial stop motion or mm -hmm. you know, hey, let's play with. I'll these. be doing that in the future. And Dino's done it too, so now I, I gotta gotta shout out Vern and Dino for for doing that stuff. It's it's so fun, man. Nice, nice. Did you guys watch any of the uh, McFarland stuff as it dropped from uh, WonderCon? I don't know. Were they reveal? doing a panel right now? Yeah, it was started. I think at, at three o'clock. So. I think Hasbro was supposed to be doing one at three p.m. Pacific. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So on. you know, if you guys are following Imperial Communique on YouTube, he's apparently going to live stream their panel. Oh, cool. Yeah. So hold on. Um, so like Hasbro is not. It's just the fans are going to do it. Yeah, I think that um, somebody will post it though. Yeah. Like, if they reveal Hammerhead and it's not live for the internet to see, I'll be choked, but I'll be excited at the same time. <laughs> right. I was so happy I found Scarlet Spider and Tombstone today. Did you? Well, you probably, you guys were online. I was busy uploading to, busy uploading today's uh, toy hunt before I came on here. So I tried something different with this thumbnail. Rick, wait till you Actually, see that. I saw that. I oh, saw, you saw it thumbnail. already? Oh, yeah. Because I didn't know it was you right away, right? Right, right. I'm like, why is this thumbnail up here? I'm like, oh, okay, watch later. <laughs> Being sneaky now. <laughs> so I just put the link to Imperial Communique's um, live stream that he's going to have. He's got it scheduled for like three, so I think that's oh, the Hasbro Ron panel. Saying he has dropped a bunch of stuff. Oh, they have? Okay. So, something to watch after. Yeah. So you, you just uploaded your video right now? Just before coming on here, yeah. I mean, about an hour. Is so, it live yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The law and orders. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. All right. I tried something different. That's nice. Oh, there's football on. There you go. There you is uh, Gary's uh, video. Go check oh, it thanks. out. Yep. All right. Um, what else you guys got? If you, if you don't, we're just going to call it. No, that was it today. It was those two figures when I got the uh, uh, Sentinel from Amazon came in, and it's unpunched, which was cool. That was a bonus. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah, so that's it. Was that cartoon one or yeah. the retro one? Yeah, the retro, retro. Oh, retro awesome! Yeah, I love that one, Gary. Yeah, and I was just the fact that it was unpunched. I was shocked and, and surprised. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it. You get a deal on it. It was only uh, seventeen dollars on with with Prime free shipping. So yeah, that's yeah, that's a great deal. Yeah, yep. It's it's fun. I've got. I got one of those and a couple of the Marvel Legends, not the HasLab ones. Mm -hmm, of course, yeah. 12 inch ones. They work great with my little retro Wolverine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I kind of wish I pulled the trigger on the HasLab Sentinel, but I, I didn't. So and now they're $600 on eBay or whatever. So. Nope. Yeah, do you, you have any of those, Vern, the really big ones? Yes. Galactus, right? What? The I got the Sentinel, Galactus, and. Um... The vehicles. Those are the only has left I picked up. You're not getting the giant man. I I passed. I had a I had an extra sentinel by the way in my garage for like two years. Oh man! Oh, well. And um, somebody finally uh, emailed me on uh, offer up, and mm -hmm. and basically offered me like twenty bucks less than I was asking for it. So I took wow. it. Took it. I wish I would have held on to it. Now I would have uh, let you have it. Damn. You shipped it? Do you pay for shipping too? Or he had to do that? No, the guy came over and picked it up. Oh, 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 oh nice. Okay. Yeah, it was local. The guy Sweet. said that um, when I was talking to him, he goes, yeah, I just got into collecting like around the time Galactus came out and big Marvel fan, I guess, and mm -hmm. the Sentinel. So he was looking for, for one new in the box. Luckily, luckily he found it. So I've got a, a quarter scale. It's not up there. It used to be sitting here behind me. Nightcrawler statue that I boxed up, put it back in the original packaging that I won on my birthday like two years ago from Japan. It's one of 40. There's only 40 of them. Oh, wow. It's got a certificate of authenticity. Yeah, it's got him bamping over Xavier's desk. It's got a leather chair, 
all kinds oh, of little cool. amps. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's on my Instagram. I got a picture of it, and um, I, I need to sell it, but I can't ship it. I mean, it would cost a thousand dollars. It's so heavy. You know? I, I've sold a few things over the past month or two. Some of the bigger things, mm -hmm. I, I I only list them locally, like a big a big lightsaber, like marketplace. Know, yeah. Yeah. Well, market mostly Facebook. <coughs> um, right. Yeah, marketplace. Yeah. But it's weird how many people like two guys this week. Hey, man, can I come pick this up today? Yeah, absolutely. Here, I'll meet you here. What time? Right. And then right. I still haven't heard back from him. It's been a week. Um, yeah. Well. Well, Gary, Gary, I'll one up you here. I got a uh, <laughs> Regal robot, salacious crumb. I saw that <laughs> right here. Yeah. In my room next to me, I had it in a box in my garage for over a year after it was returned from the recipient refused to accept it um it's a really what? big green chair can i see you turn it <laughs> does that chair turn have wheels There's more to this story i'm sure than, than you're revealing or, or... i'm just messing around <laughs> that's, a, that's all photoshop but i do have one in my garage you got any stop motion videos coming out this weekend I haven't had a chance. Uh, I've been kind of redoing my stuff. So um, I got a huge mess in here. And before I do any of that, I think I need to clean up my mess. Just because I'm trying to, I got these new shelves that I put in the corner. Oh, nice. So I've been sort of organizing them a little bit. And I basically got some Joes and stuff on this side. And then uh, I'm going to do Star Wars on this side. Um, but I got them in like totes and stuff like that. And I kind of moving my shelves around and I, okay. and I realized I'm probably going to get a couple more like this for this side of the room because I'm just trying to redo some stuff. Space is the enemy, isn't it? Yeah, sure. it's very cool. It is. Absolutely. Space management. Do them at all. All right. All right. All right, guys. Thanks Gary for jumping in and playing. Yeah, thank you guys game. for the invite. I'll see you guys out there. Please all take right. My ass Gary on the interwebs. All right. And, right. and we've determined that Gary is smarter than Rick this week on the Toy Duo. And thanks for everybody in the chat for showing it up and hanging out with us. We thanks, really guys. appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week on the Toy Duo team. Ciao. Cheers, everybody. Toys, 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 to